glorious comedy game, Hate in the Last. And here is your host, Bobby Stan. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. 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 They'll be working in one moment against our fabulous contestants as well as our celebrity contestant who will be playing for big prizes for one of the lucky people in our audience. Our celebrity contestant, ladies and gentlemen, today is a man who has a new hit single. It's called Tiptoe Through the Gas Pumps. We're talking about the one and only Tiny Tim is with us. <laughs> Tiptoe Through the Gas Pumps. Here's how we put it in James. Each of our contestants faces three comedians one at a time for 60 seconds or one dollar for each second. They don't laugh. At the last three minutes, we double the money. Our contestants are in the audience, and I'm going to ask for Janice Doherty. Where are you, Janice? <laughs> Janice Doherty. Hi, Janice. How are you, darling? Sit down. Pregnant. Yes. I said, how are you, Janice? She says, pregnant. <laughs> you are pregnant. How, 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 how pregnant are you? Eight months. Eight months? Yeah. Eight and a half. Eight and a half? Any minute now, huh? <laughs> I hope not. What, what is the... Don't tell us when the baby is. Do you get a name picked out for the baby? Um, no, my husband and I are fighting over that. You're fighting over the name? Yeah. <laughs> Give me some of the names. Well, he's Irish, so uh -huh. he wants a Gaelic name. A Gaelic name. And they're all... You can't spell them and you can't say them. So I don't want So your them. thing is why have them at all, right? <laughs> That's right. Just name them John and forget about the whole thing, all right? You ready to play the game with us? Sure. Okay, the only rules are you look looking straight in the eye. Yeah. I'm going to turn you around just like this. We're all ready to go. I'm going to say Steve Bluestein. Janice Dougherty says, make me laugh. Here we go. Hi, Janice. Hi, how are you? So you're pregnant, huh? <laughs> you know, my sister just had a baby, uh, and she had her baby natural childbirth. Are you going to have your baby natural childbirth? I'm going to try. You're going to try? Would you like to hear one of the natural childbirth breathing exercises my sister used? <laughs> Ended up with stretch marks on her face. <laughs> now, can I tell you that natural childbirth, it's all nothing. It's nada. It doesn't mean a thing. You know why? Husbands there, breathe, dear. You breathe. I want drugs. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame her, can you? It's like trying to push a Toyota through the eye of a needle. Don't do that too hard, you may go into labor right here. <laughs> Are you really going to have natural childbirth? Well, until now, I thought. Thank you, Janice. $60. What a new baby. Here comes Bruce Town. Bruce! Janice! When you're in a fix, when you're in a bind, there's only one crime fighter to call, and that... <laughs> Accidentally breastfed for 26 years. Baby man is a hell of a crime fighter. He's awful immature. By the way, that's a nice set of pacifiers you got there. <laughs> now, we're not talking about the Incredible Hulk. No, we're not even talking about Ralph Mount. No, we're not even talking about that flying heroine, Wonder Woman. <laughs> on DC chin boobs. Every time I try to use them, they, uh... <laughs> okay, first time, ladies and gentlemen. I got 120, Janice. You hold that up, Janice? My baby right here. That's, that's what you... 
Nezzy, you're going to have a kid, and when he grows up, that's what it's going to be, right? Okay, you ready to go for one more? All right, I'm going to say Bob Saget. Janice Dowry says, make me laugh. Very nice to meet you, Jen. It's a real pleasure. It's, a ple it's all my pleasure, let me tell you. You're married, right? And you're, I read on the thing. Is that funny? That's funny for me? That's good. I'm sure you have a lot of laughs at home. Now, I read that you used to be a flight attendant, and then your husband was a pilot. Where, where'd you meet him? In the cockpit? <laughs> She said, that's so bad, but you saved us, you saved us $48, that's how bad it was. Hey, well, how'd you do? One twenty. dollars you got $143, we got some nice prizes for you, we love you for being on Make Me Laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, Janice Dowry. Hey, we'll be back in a moment after these words, don't go away. Hey, uh, listen, uh, Bruce, I want to ask you something. What? <laughs> <laughs> very to it. I... What is this, the Cleveland Comedy Club? Well, this is... Um, is that where you just came from? That's where I just came from. Cleveland Comedy uh, Club. Between the last bit in here, I did a quick set over there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good club out there, uh, yeah. they're bringing in comics, and uh -huh. uh, people in Cleveland are just uh, real fine to This show is hot in Cleveland. The big right. winner in Cleveland. You think this one? <laughs> All right, you ready to go on? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to say, where is Sandy Beck? Where's Sandy Beck? Sandy. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Come on, sit up. Hi, Sandy. Hi. How are you? Welcome to make me laugh. You nervous? Yeah. Don't be nervous. There's only a few million people watching. What is there to be nervous about? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Where are you from? Garden Grove. Garden Grove. What do you... I see some friends over there. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living? I'm a banker. Working a banker? A you work in a bank. Are you a teller or are you... No, new accounts. New accounts. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to play this game with us? Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. Dollar a second. I'll turn you around. I'm going to say Steve Bluestein. Sandy Beck says, make me laugh. Here we go. Mm, hi, Sandy. You know, a lot. It's, people think it's hard to do this show. It's really not. It's real easy. I could teach anybody in, in this audience how to make somebody laugh. Do you want to learn? Okay, you got it. Next time you're in a cocktail lounge, right? Waitress comes over. She says, "Last call." You go, "Oh!" <laughs> or if you're at a golf course, go up to the people ahead of you and say, "Can we play through?" If they say yes, go. <laughs> And if you're ever in a hospital, right, and you see a sign on the wall and it says, admitting room, run in and go, all right, all right, I did it, I did it. <laughs> but you got to be real careful with your sense of humor, because I got a weird sense of humor. Maybe you noticed I was at a party once, the host said, want some beef jerky? I said, no, you want some tuna moron? <laughs> Gonna fry now. <laughs> Is there a doctor in the house? Hey, what's up, doc? <laughs> oh, I guess only for to let you know we've had you hypnotized while you were up here. <laughs> we all know how to spell sex, right? Did you know that sex backwards? Is illegal in 11 states? <laughs> hey, I'm Joe, and I'm out to put a car in your garage, Yola. That's right, from the blimp, I may look like Kelly Savalas, but I'm going down a sinking ship. I'm the weak link in the chain. Please buy a car, I'm next to go. We're selling cars dirt cheap. We're selling dirt. We're selling cars for 300 <laughs> Thank you.
Bob Saget. All right, Sandy, you got 120. You got one more to go. Bob Saget. Bob. Sandy back. Bob Saget. How are you? How are you? How are you? I've been watching and I can see that you've been laughing inside and partially out and you're about to give any moment, but that's okay because I can wait. Let me tell you, it's all in delay, you know? I can wait. I like doing my act. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> see, she's laughing again inside and out. <laughs> I used to work in a deli, believe it or not. Segway. I used to work in a deli. Believe it or not, I, I said it twice because I have the brain of a German shepherd. <laughs> And it's in my car at the moment. If you like to... <laughs> I made that up. How quick I am. Steve <laughs> pretty trying anything he can. I worked in a deli, and it was a really unclean deli. We had a rat in the kitchen the size of a collie, okay? <laughs> it was great because we hooked a saddle and stirrups on it. We used to give free rides to the kids. You know, wee! <laughs> that was a very funny picture when you think about it. Sandy, boy, you had a tough three minutes, kiddo. It was hard. It was hard, but you deserved the 180 bucks, and we're going to double. You got $360. Thank you. Sandy, thank I'm making that. Contestant on Make Me Laugh, Johnny Gilbert's going to tell you just how to do it. You can become a contestant on Make Me Laugh by being discovered in our audience. Write to us at 5800 Sunset Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90028. Let us know when you'll be in the Los Angeles area, and you may be picked as a contestant. Now let's go back to Make Me Laugh, and where is Bobby Man? Hey, we'll be right back, so don't go away. Bye, Can I ask you a question? You made a new record called Tiptoe Through the Gas Pumps? Right. I think that's fantastic. Give us one little shot of it. Uh, Tiptoe to the gas pumps, tiptoe to the gas pumps with me. Okay, that's all. <laughs> The album probably cost less than a gallon of gas, right? <laughs> hey, listen, Tiny, tell us what you've been doing. You've been working a lot of supper clubs. What have you been doing? Yeah, a lot of nightclubs. I'm going on tour. Where are you going to? On November uh, for Roy Radin and with Johnny Ray. Oh, is that that portable uh, tour thing? Yeah. Where are you that, gonna, what kind of towns are you going to hit? Uh, probably the Midwest, uh, uh -huh. up to Utah. Uh, and I, heard the, I read all about that. I heard they were sensational shows, and everybody sees the show playing with Tiny, and everybody go see it, okay? I think it's fantastic. <laughs> Everybody in the audience filled out a card. Once you reach right in here, and that's the person you're going to be playing for. Is that fair enough? Get us a card and get us a name. Let's see what you come up with. Here we go. All right. I'm looking for Lisa Martinez. Where are you, Lisa? Lisa Martinez. Hiya, Lisa. Hi. Very nice to have you on the show. Thanks. Where are you from, darling? Whittier. Whittier. You know, you just got a prize. You just got a prize for being from Whittier. <laughs> no, you got a prize for sitting down, and Tiny's going to win some nice things, and Johnny Gilbert's going to tell you what they are. Okay, just for playing Make Me Laugh with us, the lucky member of our studio audience will receive Skyway's newest luggage for easier handling on stairs, curves and pipe places, upright luggage on wheels, outdoor twist fabric in colors including blazer blue, furnished by Skyway. If our celebrity should last longer than one minute, we will add the incredible No More Focus Chin on 35 FA Auto Focus Full Frame 35 millimeter camera. But people who hate using cameras but love taking pictures furnished by Chin On. If our celebrity lasts more than two minutes, we will also add Galaxy's Vista carpeting with revolutionary future step backing. Quieter, more durable, no need for separate padding, Vista carpeting with Future Step from Galaxy. And if that isn't enough, if our celebrity should last the entire three minutes, we will also add an enchanted refuge of soft beaches and luxury accommodations. Fly to beautiful Contadora Resort and Casina in Panama's Pearl Islands of the Pacific, furnished by Contadora. They could all be yours, Bobby. Let's find out. Thank you very much, Johnny. All right, Lisa. All right, thank you. You all set to go? Only rules are you turn around and look me straight in the eye. I'm going to say, turn around like this, Danny. So say Steve Bluestein, Tiny Tim says, make me laugh. Here we go. Hi, Tine. Can I call you Tine? Thank you. And I know you're into health, you're into, you're, you don't use drugs at all, and either do I. But there are people out there that did use them, so I'd like to tell, there are ways of telling when you are stoned. There are. For instance, if you find yourself in the kitchen with a straw and a bottle of jam. <laughs> Saying to yourself, it needs more salt. Honey. 
I mean, the munchies are terrible. They are just the worst. I mean, you find yourself eating anything. You go in the kitchen. Let's put some cottage cheese in the microwave. I bet we can make popcorn. And you know what's terrible out there? You know, you know what's fun, though? I mean, I've heard tell of it. The people that get stoned with their mothers. Oh, no, it's terrible. My mother said in the living room going, Oh, you hear that? That dust hitting the lamp. But what is terrible is there are people out there that try to get their dog stoned. Yo, oh, yes, sir. Oh, you know who you are. You're out there. The, ter- the dog... Ah. Here's All right, Lisa got the good prize. Here comes Bruce down. Bruce, standing there. Uh, a new thing I got here is detergent and gum. It's like if you go to the laundry and you just forget to wash like one little baby sock, you know, and it studs up and it starts up, huh? It's really fun. The more important thing I was wondering, what would it be like if we were on another planet and they were selling people chow? It might go something like this. <laughs> this is the favorite part of my face. Okay, new people chow. Made from the finest blend of doctors, lawyers, white and blue collar people. Okay, uh, come on now. I'm gonna do a soft shoe tap dance. But unlike most soft shoe tap dances, I don't have to lay on gimmicks like tap, hardwood floors, or salon. I'm gonna dance with these rubber soled shoes on this linoleum stage. Now, those of you familiar with soft shoe tap dance realize this is called a handicap. I'm gonna dance for anyway, and I think you'll like it, but who knows? Bob Saget, Bob Tiny Tim. Your eyes are like the stars that light your face. Your walk has the form of Princess Grace. You possess the key to all my dreams. You're more than you seem. You're my hamster. <laughs> When you're near, I never worry. You're cute and little and so furry. That's so funny. When you run on your little tread wheel, it goes round and round. Some people laugh at us on sight, cause we've got differences in height. <laughs> that was a cute joke there. When we spend the night together, we have fun. Took me days to think of that rhyme. <laughs> You know, our religions aren't the same. I'm kosher, and Ham's the first part of your name. <laughs> That's the comedy. <laughs> I've blown your ear if I knew where it was. <laughs> so late. Hey, Bob. Johnny, tell them what they are. Super they are, Lisa. You've won the luggage, the 35 millimeter camera, the carpeting, and the vacation in Panama. They're all yours. Hey, Tiny Tim, I want to thank you very much for being on the show. Good luck with your big tour. Tiny Tim, ladies and gentlemen. I got some nice make me laugh t-shirts and I'm going in the audience. Come on, let's go. Yes, sir. Anyway, that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. You look very nice. You look like you're okay. Uh, you'll do very nicely in this, won't you? But first, you have to talk to one of the comedians. You want to talk to Bob? What is your name? Shelly. Where are you from, Shelly? Um, Chatsworth. Shelly from Chatsworth. Bobby from Hollywood. Oh. Shelly, Bobby. Bobby, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Bobby, Shelly. baby, baby. How you doing, Thank Shelly? You. How are you? You're, you're a very pretty lady. Thank you very much. You're, you're very pretty. Thank you. Let's just keep doing this for about ten minutes. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tell you, this is a funny joke. I made this up, and it's more than clever. Okay. <laughs> I have a lot in common with the Incredible Hulk. I see a pretty girl and I burst out of my pants. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Charlie. Where is it? There it is. I can find it well, that's our show. Hope you enjoyed it. Tune us in tomorrow or the next day or after the weekend. Or whatever you want to tune us in. I don't care as long as you're watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
following. Make Me Laugh t-shirt from MCR Products Los Angeles. Made especially for Make Me Laugh and available to viewers. MCR Products, 9100 Sunset Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90069. And Pledge, the furniture polish that picks up fingerprints and smudges and gives your furniture clean, natural beauty every time you dust. Also, Capri Foaming Bath Oil leaves your skin soft and smooth, your bathtub clean. Capri, more of a beautiful thing for less. And Chapstick Lip Balm, formulated to help protect lips by shielding them from drying sun, wind, and cold. Keep lips soft and smooth and natural-looking Chapstick Lip Balm. Limousine service provided by Dave L. Livery. First-class service for first-class people. Available in New York, Houston, Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, and other major cities, Dave L. Limousine. This is Johnny Gilbert speaking.